Okay, uh, in this video, we're going to introduce the method of uh, integration by parts. Uh, this method is based on the product rule, uh, which I'm sure you can recall says the derivative of uv is the derivative of v times u plus the derivative of u times v. Um, so what I want to do here is... Uh, we're going to multiply by uh, dx. So if multiply everything by dx, uh, then uh, that formula on the left hand side is just going to be duv. Uh, on the right hand side, we're going to have u dv plus v du. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to integrate. Uh, all these terms so on the left hand side we're going to have the integral of duv uh, on the right hand side we're going to have in the integral of u dv plus the integral of v du um, now the term on the right hand left hand side we can evaluate, but for us to appreciate that, uh, let's take a little detour. Uh, notice that, um, or rather, I'm sure you are already familiar with the fact that integral of dx is x. Okay, for a moment, uh, we're just going to forget a bit about the constant of integration. Uh, integral of dt, so that one is going to be t. Uh, integral of dm is going to be m. So what's developing here is that it appears whatever we have after the d uh, becomes the answer of the of your integration process. So from here we can imagine that so dm squared is just going to be m squared and indeed d1 on x integral of that is just going to be 1 on x so in general uh, it appears that the integral of the integral of uh, d uh, n a term, uh, let's say anything, uh, d anything, so that's just going to give us anything. Well, uh, this means integral of duv is just going to be uv on uh, this left hand side here so if we go back to that formula what we're going to have on the left hand side is uv on the right hand side we've got the integral of u dv plus integral of v du uh, these ones we can't simplify because it's not just dv. If it was dv, then integral of that would be v, of course. All right. What we're going to do now is um, we are going to make this one the subject of the formula. So we're going to have uh, integral of u dv equal to uv minus v du. This is actually the formula that we're going to use for what is called integration by parts. So what this approach does is uh, it uh, divides the integral into two parts. Uh, the one part it integrates, the other part it differentiates. That is why it is called integration by parts. Because if you look at the left hand side, we have got u, 
which we have the same thing here and then we've got du du is the derivative of u so what happens in this method is uh, whatever we're going to choose to be our u we differentiate this process uh, of getting du from u is by differentiation and then we have got dv and then on the right hand side we've got v going from dv to v is uh, the process of integration so what is happening in this setup is we're only integrating v and uh, you uh, so we're only integrating dv uh, then u we are differentiating so that's why it's called integration by parts because we only integrate part of uh, the setup now um for our purposes here we are going to look at uh, three types of integrals that we can evaluate using this method we tabulate them bef below and explain uh, the approach we are going to use to integrate each one of them okay um there are going to be three types of integrals uh, that we're going to consider that are natural uh, candidates for the method of integration by parts the first type is integrals which involve a polynomial times any one of these uh, forms so either an exponential of a constant times x sine of a constant times x cosine of a constant times x hyperbolic sine or cosine of course these two are catered for here because these can be written in terms of e for instance hyperbolic cosine of uh, ax is e to the ax plus e to the minus ax all over 2 and uh, this has already been taken care of here the approach or the substitution we are going to use uh, for these ones is always uh, take the u to be the polynomial and then dv is going to be the other term we are going to demonstrate this in the examples we're going to do in the next video type 2 uh, what we call type 2 here are uh, integrals that involve a polynomial times a logarithmic term this time or a polynomial times uh, inverse trigonometric uh, function term this time we let u be the either the log term or the inverse trigonometric term the polynomial is going to be our dv again we'll do examples on this the last type of integral we're going to do in uh, this series is integrals of the form where you've got uh, the exponential uh, times sine or cosine so in this case we've got this multiplying either that or multiplying that one so uh, this time what we do is we integrate by parts twice and then turn the integral inside out or invert it uh, again we're going to look at some examples the other alternative of evaluating this type of integrals is to employ complex numbers again we're going to do some examples to show you how that works out um, before we get to the end of this it is worth noting that uh, these are not the only types of integrals that uh, um, can be evaluated using integration by parts but by all means uh, these are the standard types that you will find in a first calculus course to get you started uh, and to understand the method.
all right um so we're going to end it here thanks for watching uh please do not forget to subscribe and uh, post your comments questions of any sort if you have them in the next video we're going to start looking at how to use integration by parts to evaluate uh, what we're calling here type one integrals thank you